Hey everybody, we had some travel plans fall through for today, last night. So instead we decided to book a day trip to Nuremberg. So we're about to head up there on a, I think an hour long train. And we'll let you know when we get up there. So we just got to Nuremberg and the train on the way here was going around 300 kilometers an hour, which converted to miles per hour is about 200, maybe 190. I think that's maybe the fastest I've gone outside of an airplane, but we were flying down the tracks. Not sure if I've already mentioned it, but we do have a return trip back to Munich in about 10 hours, maybe 11 hours. And let's hope we don't get train sick this time. Yeah. Turns out we need motion sick medicine. Yeah, I got a little motion sick. I didn't throw up or anything, but I got a little motion sick. So we'll see what happens. It also didn't help that we didn't really have a window on our train, even though our ticket said we had a window. We had a sliver of a window from the seat in front of us. So hopefully on the way back we have an actual window and we can actually see the outside. I know it's not gonna look very steep on camera, but we just walked up a pretty, pretty steep, long hill. Let me show you. So the, the city was destroyed by, I think, 47 or 49 air raids. And originally they weren't, some people didn't want to rebuild the city. They were just going to build next to it. But ultimately they decided to rebuild over the city and keep it with the medieval style. They, they said that they wouldn't build anything over four or five stories. Everything had to have the planted 45 degree roofs and everything had to look very similar. Um, and construction wasn't complete until the 1970s, so it took so. Them a t some time. So we just finished up at the castle, and since we have plenty of time until our train back to Munich, we're gonna head over to the zoo, which is a little bit out of the way. I think it's a 30 or 40 minute bus ride, but we have the time, so. Here we go. Well, we tried to get on one bus, but the stop said relocated stop, and uh, we saw the bus pass us by. So now we're gonna walk about 10 minutes to the next stop to try to get to the zoo. So we'll see what happens.
it's super, super humid in this apiary. I walked in, I already started sweating a little bit. I 100% just walked by this. But that's a manatee. Well, now it's raining. You can't really tell on camera, but we had to put Elizabeth's camera up really quick. Yep. But on the bright side, Elizabeth got her first zoo in since moving here. Yep. 